So Caleb has now broken his silence when it comes to the breakup of him and Justine and this is what he has to say. Hey guys, it's Murad Morali. Hopefully you guys are doing well today. Back again with another video. If you haven't subscribed, click that button guys for daily and consistent content. Head over to my Instagram, my Patreon, my merch. Click that button guys and subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Click that button. I slept at 9.15 in the morning because I had to get that video up about, you know, him, um, about um, Caleb and Justine and then breaking up. I had to film the video, edit the video, wait for it to be uploaded, wait for it to be checked and monetized by YouTube. So it literally took like three hours or so to get all of that up for you guys to watch ASAP. So my sleeping pattern is messed. Subscribe, click that button guys, and let's get straight into this new update. Please don't go send any hate to Caleb or Justine. Please don't go and send any hate to either of these parties. You know, express your frustration and maybe in a forum or under the comments, I understand that on Twitter, but you know, to really go in and deep, um, you just never know what could happen and you know, someone could do something because of the aftermath and it could just be a lot. And we're all in our emotions right now because of course, a lot of people are invested in this couple, but this is what they had to say. As many of you already know, Justine and I are no longer together. I wish her the absolute best and much continued success as God blesses her with new opportunities and adventures. This announcement has been one that we have wrestled with for some time now, not knowing exactly when or how to deliver it. The nature in which we met and fell for each other comes with a unique set of obstacles that nothing in life can ever prep you for. We genuinely appreciate those of you who have supported us and thank you in advance to those of you who will continue supporting us as individuals moving forward. It is unexplainable feeling to give yourself to the world and the world asks for more of you in return. With that last sentence in mind, I hope those of you who have supported us will choose compassion over condemnation during this difficult time. Myself, Justine and our loved ones are all real people with real emotions who love and hurt hard. Unfortunately, when you choose privacy, others often feel it is their place to tell your story for you. Speculation or not, even with, with that in mind, I'm still choosing privacy for the sake of my own sp personal space. I kindly ask that you please respect any of Justine's or our loved one's desire for privacy as well. Now, privacy is something that, of course, you know, that they hold value. I mean, a lot of people do, but I, I recall in my interview, I'm, you know, addressed the notion of privacy and, you know, they really wanted their privacy specifically Caleb. Um, but of course, in this, he says that um, this announcement has been one that we have wrestled with for some time now, which basically means if you break down his statement, that this has been ongoing for some weeks. This isn't something that's going on for a couple of days. You know, it is something that Justin may have found out or that she unfollowed or this, this, that. This has been going on for a while where they have apparently broken up or trying to deliver a plan on how they were going to get this message done. This is what Caleb is saying this is his side of the situation you know not knowing how exactly or when or how to deliver the stuff how we you know how would we do this stuff we genuinely appreciate those of you who have supported us um and you know obviously saying give us give us compassion and don't condemn us when it comes to stuff I don't think anybody is condemning Justine but you know Justine has willingly unfollowed him on all platforms and when you willingly unfollow someone you don't want to see them anymore you don't want to be associated with them anymore you just want the world to know that you're not effing with them anymore so it seems that of course something sour did go down and of course you know Justine did put up a statement herself which we all know because I read it out however this one of course he has kept it very you know clear very short um, hasn't really gone into anything of course uh, perhaps that you know there isn't much for him to go into or perhaps um, he is completely in the wrong when it comes to this but of course this is a side of the situation he's probably seeing all the comments and everybody reacting to this absolute mess that is going on but what are your thoughts guys when it comes to this what are your thoughts when it comes to everything going on with this whole Caleb and Justin situation I will be coming out with another video in relation to Johnny and Sally because we have some things going on there and then also you know when it comes to Caleb and really outlaying the accusations and the allegations held against him when it comes to all of this information and apparently he cheated on this this that so that will come out in a separate video as well so expect a day of just a lot of love island usa content and really you know kind of breakdowning breakdowning um you know breaking down the whole jaleb you know justine caleb situation and what is going on how they're reacting in their statements and also you know these accusations allegations and other islanders and how they're reacting and affected and if anybody's throwing shade so 
Let me know your thoughts are, guys, when it comes to Caleb's statement. What are your thoughts on this matter? I feel like, you know, it's an okay statement. It's quick, it's clear, he wants to get his stuff out. But, you know, he's obviously reflecting that there is a different timeline, there's a different story, and that in actual fact, we've been talking and discussing about this for a while. So this is his side of the situation, and I have to try to be unbiased. Um, it's hard, obviously, because, you know, I do support Justine. Um, but at the same time, I do feel like it's clear but to an extent, I feel like there is a lot of mist and smoke in this statement. And what I mean by that is, you know, if these are these allegations and accusations, will you reply to them? Will you respond to them? Will you address them? Um, I don't know. I don't think he will. Is that because maybe he doesn't want to feed into it or because there's, you know, there's where, wherever there's smoke, there's fire? You know, two different um, ways that you can see it, directions. But I feel like it's a clear statement and that is concise and short. But you know, with everything going on around and all these accusations, it just seems like a little bit vague as well. I'm getting a little bit of vagueness from it. Anyways, what are your thoughts when it comes to this? Guys, subscribe to the channel, click that button for daily and consistent content, and I'll catch you guys soon for another video.